Okay, bye, I guess. Okay, this is Cooking Companions. Um, I've been wanting to play this game for a while, because it's sort of been in my radar for a little bit, because I know this is in a uh, similar sort of category as Doki Doki Lit Literature Club was. So, I'm kind of interested about this, and, s and to see how this all pans out, because, yeah, I could think up of a few things that could go wrong in a cooking visual novel. So, yeah, uh, let's get into it. Oh, and now it gives us a warning. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Do you wish to continue? Sure. Oh, okay, I click no and I still went into the game anyway. Day is turning into night. Better go home and eat dinner. Cabin is completely silent. What do you want to check out? Ooh, okay. Well, it wouldn't be a cooking game without look, checking out the kitchen. So let's check out the kitchen. Covers are bare and nothing looks appetizing in here. What do you want to check out? Uh, let's look out the window. You're hungry. That's a waste of time. What do you want to check out? Okay, uh, I'm gonna leave the basement to last. The bathroom! You're too afraid of the bathroom right now. Why? Okay, I'm very concerned. What do you want to check out? The bedroom! It's not for time for bed yet. You're very hungry right now. What do you want to check out? Let's go back to the kitchen. Goes up and appetizing, yada yeah. Okay, let's. Okay, we can't go back to the main room. God damn it. Okay, uh. Crap. Let's go to the basement, I guess. Uh, I really don't want to go here. Basement door is already unlocked. Great! Yay! You open the door. Ready to traverse the basement. Uh, I already don't like this. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, because I clicked no. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, cooking companions. <laughs> oh god, that is better than I hoped for. Because <laughs> I was wondering what would happen if I clicked no. Uh, you're thinking it would keep me back to the main menu. <laughs> I was not expecting to get like a fucking secret ending. <laughs> oh, that was good. Okay, we are back here again. Okay, let's click yes this time. <laughs> okay, we're still in the crappy old house, but... We got Gregor. Okay, we got Ant... Anatoly? God, why are they saying... I'm just calling Chloe Anna. That'll be easier. Okay, we got Maria. This is her. She looks pretty, pretty and cute. <laughs> no mind. Okay, you look very disturbed. You good? And then we got Karen. Oh no, you're not gonna be a Karen, is she? <laughs> <coughs> I have a feeling that there's supposed to be text here. Yeah, there's supposed to be text here. Hold on. Later. Oh, here we go. Okay, I just need to restart the game. Okay. I walk is brutal, but this cabin is amazing. Full kitchen, running water, it really has everything. Finally, a place I can read a good book in peace. I can't wait to... to... Ah, uh, ah, chew. I'm oh, sorry, everyone. Must be the dust. Get those allergies under control, Maria. Don't worry, guys. I'm sure with a little elbow grease we can make this cabin shine. So, are you volunteering to clean, Greg? No. Not many supplies here. Guess we'll have to go and out to get. Guess we'll have to go out to get what we need. 
There's a fireplace for making stew, so let's gather up some firewood, okay? Leave it to me, little guy. I'll tie you up around the cabin. Need to say, need to say Maria from dying due to the dust. <laughs> hey, I'll use nothing to joke about, Karen. She's not dead yet, Pipsqueak. Calm down. Thanks, Anna. I think I'll go foraging outside. With over 450 mosses, 900 fungi, and sunny slime molds, there's better to be treasure up here. Roughing it, it, roughing it is. Roughing it is fun. That's a weird sentence. Anna knows. Anna knows more. Anna knows so much about edible foods. We're in good hands. I think the slime molds will be the most delicious. Most certainly not. What about the fungi? Do you, do you even know which ones are poisonous, Anna? I, uh, I could figure that out. You can be the canary in the coal mine, Anna. I not ended up as a cops here. Yeah. Oh, great. The text has disappeared again. Much later. Okay, that's weird. We got chocolate's origins to start cooking companions normally. Okay, I'm gonna do chocolate's origins years earlier. Okay, I had to restart the game because I need to fix it. Okay, Rena, check it out. Okay, this is interesting. Kevin, all the way out here. What about the psychopath? Lost him a few kilometers back. Don't worry. Yeah, I don't like the sounds of that. I don't think you lost him. <laughs> Doesn't look like anyone's home. Hello? Come on, Rena. Something's sitting. Let's take shelter here for just for the night. You sure? You sure that's a good idea, Selena? Of course. Front door has a few different ways to lock it. Should keep him at bay if he shows up. Hope there's some snacks near. Oh, look. I guess we don't have a good choice. We'll head back to Sarcopane in the morning. Don't worry about it. It's just for one night. You decide to join up with your friends inside. Did you lock the door? Oh, set. Can you see him out the window? No. He's probably went back down to town. Is anyone here? No, he only stopped around nothing. Huh. This cabin is abandoned. Let's stay here for the tonight. What? Relax. It's going to be freezing outside tonight, so it's either him or us. This is why you're making a fire. Don't want him to see us in the distance. No fire? There's blankets in the bedroom. We'll be fine, Oleg. Like. Otherwise, you can guys can all like cuddle up. It's coming kind of chills me to the bones. We'll need them. Hmm. No bollocks to get nervous. He tells a joke to break the tension. Got one of Russell's classics for you? What do you call a snowman's kids? Children. <laughs> I got an achievement for a corny and classic. Oh, no, I like that. <laughs> yeah. Let's split up and search the cabin. See if we can find any food for us to eat tonight. I'll take the bedroom. Leave the living room to me. Rena, I'll search the kitchen. No need to help me. You sure? Of course. I know exactly where to look first. I got the Psycho Pain Junior Baker Award, remember? Selena. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Let's move out. Help the team are searching the cabin for supplies. Your bond with Selena, Oleg, and Bullock is unbreakable. Focus on exploring the cabin. You only get one choice, so choose wisely. What do you want to help out first? Ooh. So, who do we want to help out? 
Hmm. Let's go in the bedroom. Hey, Rena. Is that a bone sticking out of the floorboard? Yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> Is it a chicken bone? I think I'm finding out. I'll probably lose my lunch. What area do you want to search first? Search the floors. Let's check under the beds. Long stones are white hair covered in dust under here. Disgusting. Okay, let's check the furniture. Check the table first. The building has completely soaked into the wood. Find anything? Yeah, a table that needs to be that need to be cleaned years ago. Heh. <laughs> Is it sourced from the kitchen? Take a whiff. No, like what you're thinking? Yeah, I was gonna say that's gonna be pretty disgusting tasting sauce. <laughs> okay. Um, that's it, I guess. Stop searching. I think we're done searching here, Oleg. Like, hey, Runa, I've been dying to ask. What's up with that coat? It's new. You don't like it? I didn't say that. It just looks a little heavy for summer. Yeah, it always works as a real nice blanket. Yeah. I'm kind of afford to buy me multiple coats per year, like. Besides, I actually take care of my clothes. <laughs> Poor, like. The cabin is cold as hell, so I'm a little jealous. Especially in the living room. Right? You met Oleg on your fourth year of elementary school through Bullock. Walking home one day, you notice him fishing down by the river. Oh, he looks so happy. Hey, Rena. Is there good fish here, Oleg? What? My uncle fishes here all the time. And he's lucky he hasn't been caught yet. Catching anything today? Brown trout. I won't tell anyone, Oleg. Like. Thanks, Rena. Oh, like. Further down the river, you see a strange man washing some tools. Most of it looks like things you would find in a butcher shop. Blades of various sizes. Make eye contact with him, causing him to pick up the tools in a panic and put them in a satchel. Uh oh. I don't like that. Tools the knife he was cleaning, causing it to make a shallow cut in his hand. He awkwardly stumbles away from the river, leaving a trail of crimson behind him. What a strange sight. Hmm. I think he's doing more than just fishing. You head back into the living room to catch up with the others. Okay, team. Find anything? Just some old toys in a drawer. Really old toys. Well, look. I... I found his toy boat under the couch. Let me see that. Grandma made this boat for him. Russell was here. Russell? The one and only. Could he still be alive here? See him again. Would bring Grandma back from the brink. We had to go find him. Agreed. Crew, we need to search this cabin top to bottom. Let's find Rachel and bring him back to Sakoping. You got it, Selena. Oh, look. Oh, look. Come with me. Let's look around outside. Rena, look around the cabin and try to find any clues where Rachel is. That yeah, Park could be out. still outside in the woods. If you hear any of us yell or scream, find us. Okay. Of course, Selena. Thanks. We'll be listening for you as well. I'll be fine. Probably not. Crew, let's move out. I've, I've been feeling that one of them might use the yelling and screaming and bring us out and kill us. <laughs> Selena, Bullock, and I'll leave you to search the cabin. Yeah, I don't like that I'm here by myself. 
Who's there? Nothing replies back. Sounded like it was coming from the kitchen. You walk over to investigate. really don't like those noises. Hello? God, we're not going to get jump scared, are we? What's it going to be like a rat or a mouse or something? Oh, hi! Also, I don't understand what you just said. I'm gonna probably have to translate this because I do not understand what any of this is. I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. Okay, yeah, I'm getting creeped out by this. Dorian's pushed out from out of the cabinet. Okay, let's take a look at the drawing. Looks like someone used a piece of coal to draw this. Are those bars of a cage? Staring at a door. Hmm. Take the cage drawing with you. Okay, I still don't understand a single thing you're saying. These noises are still happening. I don't like it. Athena? Bullock? Bullock? No reply. Oh, hi. You guys are back inside. Rena, we saw something weird down the hill. Looked like an old fence with bones all over the ground. Could have been animal skulls, but we couldn't tell from that distance. You heard some weird whispering before you got back into the front door. Find anything? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Strange whispering is coming from under the kitchen sink. Whispers? Was it a ghost reader? I'm not sure. I couldn't understand any of the words. Hmm. Ghosts. Uh. Pull out your tents to lighten the mood a little bit. Got another of Razor's jokes for ya. What do ghosts like pouring over their food? Bollock. Give up? Gravy! <laughs> I got achievement. Bad timing! <laughs> At least they got a little bit of a laugh out of it. It was probably just the creek under the cabin arena. Okay. No such things as ghosts. Also, my cat is knocking over shit. What are you doing? Eventually. Seen pretty real, Selena. Well, if you see it again, let me know. Pence outside was absolutely terrifying. We can't let our guard down here. Yeah. Can we not slip up anymore? I'm scared of getting separated now. Of course I'll like. We're a team. The team stick together through thick and thin. Rain or shine. Feast and famine. You're right, Selena. I just don't want to lose any of you. Like, Razel. That won't happen when we're together, Oleg. Bullock, you're not out. Can you stay up? Can you stay guard while we sleep? Of course. Thanks, Bullock. Oleg and I will take the bedroom. You okay with the living room? Yeah. Thank you, Bullock. Wake us up if you see or hear anything. You got it. Olga and Selena head to the bedroom, opening the door fully behind them. Lay down on the couch and quickly fall asleep. I don't know how you can quickly fall asleep after everything that just happened. Which I, I'm surprised she didn't have much more of a reaction to what she saw in the kitchen. Close your eyes, but cannot stop thinking about the butcher of psychopain. Third victim probably had it worst. Stabbed in the something like the other two, but this one was different. Body was missing, both ears. So investigators, investigators concluded it was a copycat to 
A series of grisly murders from years ago. What kind of person would take someone ears? Victim's family and neighbours searched the murder scene top to bottom, in the alleyway outside. All they could find was a broken window that the butcher used to gain entry. It was a mystery that nobody in Zakopane could solve. So Selene, Olog, and Bullock and you teamed up to find the killer. Selene was naturally the leader, pointing out vantage points on Dusty Mats her grandfather had. Bullock brought snacks and what he called emergency rations, which was usually crusty bread from his pocket. Bullock was able <coughs> Bullock was able to get investigation tips from his grandmother, former detective, but only after telling her it was to find Razel. The investigation lasted more than a year, after getting to crime scenes quicker than the town investigators. You have a strange dream. Found the body early. So early that the blood is still leaving the body. The greasy haired man makes eye contact with me, wiping a knife on his vest. Look away to escape, but you're trapped in the alleyway. He slowly walks towards you, forcing a laugh that comes out in an unnatural staggered st segments. He gets closer. You notice the pupils are absolutely enormous. As he brings the knife up, his face peels apart by the lips, screeching in pain and agony. You wake up in a cold sweat. Oh, that was creepy. I don't like that. That's gonna give me fucking nightmares. Wake up, everyone. <coughs> Bullock, it's like 3 a.m. I heard Sonic outside. Was it one of those crows? He never shut up. It's him. Huh? Selena? It's him. What's the plan? Selena makes the group secret hand signals. Only whispering is allowed now. Bollock. 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 Eyes on the door and windows. If he makes it inside, Run out the front doors or downstairs. Downstairs? What if there's less room down there? Then we need to manipulate the lights down there. Find the light bulb pulley, and when he gets close, turn off the lights. He's got that knife, so run for the front door when he, there's an opening. <coughs> <coughs> what? If there's. There isn't a working light down there. Our eyes can see better in the dark than him. We can run circles around him while he's blind down there. He doesn't stand a chance. Don't count your chickens before you hatch. They hatch, Bullock. Bullock, can you un outrun him? Of course. Rena, do you see anything out the window? Oh, I don't like this. The rain hasn't started yet, but you can see storm clouds in the distance. Maybe it will get too muddy for him. At least he's coming through one of the windows. When the glass is thick, if he tries to break it, everyone would hear it. The man who built this cabin definitely was here for the long haul. See anything, Rena? Nothing. While keeping watch, I found this in the bedroom. Here. Oh, great. That's a lovely drawing you got there. That's kind of creepy. I don't like it. What the hell is that? Did Razel make this? It had to have been him. When we found the body stuffed into the barrel, that creep saw us and ran. Who would do something like that? A monster. That's right, Rena. That was the last time we saw him. What's that noise? Uh, we might want to make a run for it because that sounds like somebody breaking in. Oh yeah, that's definitely, um... Get to the staircase, now! As you run to the staircase, you can see him standing by the front door. He wipes his eyes with his sleep, completely drenched from head to foot. It's a tense smile, but it looks completely out of character. Slow down your breathing, making it to the staircase safely. Uh, 
Oh great, we're making it way down to the basement. Selena takes out the basement key, locking the door behind you. There, that should show him. Rena, can he lead? Of course, Selena. Uh oh, he's breaking it down. Run for it! Well, he is determined. Alright, we'll be right behind you. Yeah, you began your descent. Okay, we'll finally get to see what's in the basement. Let's play Ghost in the Graveyard tonight. It's too dark out. But what if the one in the adults, adults catches us? We're faster than them. I'm guessing this is like some sort of flashback. We you know the game to be game to be the first ah, the ghost first. Why me? Because your eyes can see in the dark the best. The perfect ghost. Selena. <laughs> sure, I'll go hide first. Hey, Oleg. Yeah? You were slower than Bollock with a stomach full of herring last time. Pick up the pace this time. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, what happened again? Nobody trusts you, Oleg. Oh, poor Oleg. Everybody laughs. Guy burned some equipment at the sawmill. Takes a group two hours to find you. By the time Selena yells close in the graveyard, you've already tagged Bollock, Bollock and Oleg. Eh. Eh. Not too fast, Rena. Nobody sneaks up on me. Nobody. I don't like the heartbeats. Rena, what's going on? Uh, nothing. Just remembering something. Bollock and Oleg went ahead. There's no time for this. We need to go. Snap out of it and begin your descent. Okay, into the basement we go. Must be searching for the key. What an idiot. It sounds like he's breaking shit. Hey, he must be furious be to be causing that much damage. Oh look, you find a light switch down there? Yes. Get in position. We'll be right down. That locked door is keeping him busy. The door is pretty old though. Did you see the holes in it? It's coming down! Run! Oh shit. <laughs> Didn't hold in for long. Your eyes strain to see further down the staircase. You can't hear him. I don't like the blinking. Okay, Rena? I have something special to introduce you to. Razor, come on out. Don't be shy, Razor. Rena won't bite. Hi. Nice to meet you. I am Rena. I, I. It's okay. My cousin is great, Bullock. <laughs> Just wait, everyone. Give him a little time. He has the world's best puns. I mentioned every single one, Grandma told him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Grandma brought me this book. Rachel, this is 500 pages long. Yeah. <laughs> We're on last with Rachel. Join a nice meal together with Bullock's family. Rachel tells countless pun jokes. Bullock howls with laughter and the adults shake their head in agony. The joy is infectious, making Psycho Pain a better city for everyone. Except for one. You know, you're slowing down again. Selena. Rachel. What about him? I I keep remembering him. I see. I he grew let's keep going. Can you continue downwards? Oh This is creepy. Also that guy isn't back in the corner there. I see him. What the hell is this? What? Light isn't working. God damn it, of course it's not. No time to find a weapon here. Let's get going down. I can see a light further down the staircase. She sticks to the floor at the bottom. I can barely make out the light up to the door on the right east. There are three other doors. North, south, west. Then he tries to open the north first. Locked. This room is tiny. 
How are we going to get around him? Don't be scared. Let's try the other doors. See if we can lock it from the inside. Which way, Rena? Ooh, oh. Okay. Ah, uh, we got another choice. Hmm. Ah, uh, let's go to the south. Locked. Door handles feel oddly warm. Okay, let's go to the west then. Locked. Okay, it looks like we're going to the east. East lane and Olive Bollock. And Bollock throw open the door, turning around to see him. Uh oh. Well, he looks kind of creepy. Oh, I guess that's what we look like. Can I kind of say, who's the other girl? Well, that must be us, Rena. Leave us alone. He left the knives upstairs. It's four against one. Leave your life. <laughs> say hi to Rachel for me. Uh-oh. Ow. And that was that. Okay, that was really disturbing. <laughs> oh, we have something else. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay, why are we getting... Why are the thing is talking? <laughs> why? You shut the drawer. Oh, hi. Okay, I was going to say you guys were cute, but not anymore. Cabbage. Onion. Onion. Bread. Bread. <laughs> I guess the potato doesn't talk. They're being held back by their human emotions. They'll need a few months more, at the very least. I'm in no rush. Let us leave. Now. Shut the drawer. I don't like this. This makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I like to explore the cabin. See where those whispers are coming from. Uh, did they get turned into food? Or did they possess the food? I don't know. Can I leave the drawer? You nod. Thank you. Want to come with raspberry? I'm going nowhere with you. <laughs> poor, poor raspberry. Welcome. We've done our annual chop it com comedy com competition since the last time. Want to be the judge this year? Ignore them. I found some fascinating stuff by using the mouse holes. I need you to explore I mean, what the hell this is. Oh, that's kind of creepy. I don't like that. Were you fattening him up? Were you scaring the hell out of him while you hesitated? Take the basement drawing with you. I will never forgive you for this. Shut the drawer. It's time! Chompets, sound off! Never fear, I'm gonna miss here. Like my cousin Cobra says, I rise to the occasion. <laughs> like the pundit? Yes, I don't like the creepy faces your guys are making. Where's Mary? Raspberry? Potato? Potato? You have nothing to give me now. Leave me alone. This is the only way to escape, Potato. We need to leave at the same time. I'm not leaving this cabin. Potato, please. Potato, I want to see you. No. Cabbage tries whispering, but you can clearly hear every word. They can release us. Just play along and maybe they'll pity us. Yeah? 
I'm not working with them. But right now, I pity them. There's no disgusting, foul smelling. That's enough. Say the words to cause a regression to stir inside of you. Keeping those intruders around might be entertaining for now. Slide the door closed, giving them time to stew on their thoughts. Okay, that was fucking weird. That was the Chompette's origins. God, that was fucking weird. <laughs>